All right. Okay, so that. we'll hold the general information here. Um, I believe everybody is unmuted. So um, there are some people still are, are muted, but that should be by their choice because I think I unmuted everybody. Um, the general meeting, um, let's talk about the spring sale. Uh, the final numbers have not been released as of yet. Uh, but the, the spring sale was the most successful, um, I believe, of all time. And that's due to everybody's hard work. Um, we had a lot of people step up and volunteer. And uh, it was a huge success. Um, I'm pretty sure it was in excess of $13,000 that we made on this year's spring sale. So uh, we're doing really well with that. Um, I know we had uh, a late bill come in, so we're still getting the final numbers. And yes, Vicki, I will get the treasury report out to all of our board members so they can approve it so you can get it to Jan for the next water log. So we should have the final numbers available, which will be in the next month's of water log. Um, again, I want to thank all of our volunteers because without them, we would not have been able to pull that off. It was, I will say this, it was a logistics nightmare this year uh, with the friends school being pushed out of the um, grandstand out into the midway and having to work with the state fair people directly. It was unique experience to say that, to, to put it mildly, it was quite an eye opener on how things work, but um, thanks to Jan and Jerry and Vicki and especially Alan, I would look at Alan and say, Alan, can you do this for me? And he'd drop it and he'd run and go do things. So. Um, I believe we had the list of all the volunteers in the last month's water log. When you get to see those people again in public, uh, in person, please thank them because without them, we could not have pulled off that sale. Um, the pond tour, we will be having a, what we're gonna call a intimate pond tour this year it's going to be smaller than what we've been used to in the past um, we still have a lot of people who are reluctant to allow people to come into their yards due to the pandemic so but we have had um we had seven we're down to six we may might be up to eight but as of right now, we're sitting at six. And there we do have two other possibilities of, of uh, pond, ponds joining at the last minute. So Jerry and Jim Kirchner and all these other people who are looking for lists, that's why we have not been able to get them out because we had one, one of our people had to drop out due to some house repairs. And unfortunately, they have to replace the entire side of their house. And it has to be the side that faces their pond. So we lost one of our sites that way. But um, we're just going to hold a intimate tour, you know, six to eight. It's going to be easy for everybody to do in one day if they so choose. They're going to be fairly close enough where we won't have to do a lot of driving. I was over at Pauline's house last night and we've decided to move ahead with a smaller intimate tour. Um, people just aren't ready to open up their homes to large crowds. So if anybody has questions, please jump. Um, yes, we do, know, we do have the confirmed sites on the tour. Um, and you're going to ask me who they are, and <laughs> I don't have that list available. Uh, Tim Rick is one site. 
Um, um, Rick Solly is another site. He's a newer member. Um, Jerry, help me out. Do you have the list available to you? Yeah, I got um, the Jensen's. Nope, the Jensen's are who pulled out. Okay, so that's in there. Uh, last name is Q U A R N S T R O M. Quarnstrom. Yeah, and then is it Cross? K R A U S E. Cruise. 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 And then, okay, then uh, Tim and Linda Johnson. Okay, Tim and Linda Johnson, yep. And then Tim, uh, Tom and, and Suzanne Crone. So you say it's C H O R N? Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> Crone, Crone, Crone. They're in White, uh, New Brighton. Okay. Corn. 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 Okay. Corn. Corn. There we go. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> Okay. okay, general locations, Gary, basically, we're going to be north of 694 between the 35E and 35W corridors. Basically, okay. Anoka County. Yeah. I, I believe we have some up in Ham Lake. Yeah, two Ham Lake, Ramsey, Anoka, Coon Rapids, and White, uh, New Brighton. New Brighton. Okay, there we go. That's our general area. Okay. He's happy with that, that area. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm waiting for the final list so I can send out for the monitors. So. Yeah. Uh, and we're, uh, Tim Rick uh, is working with a couple of ponds that he did this year to see if they would be willing to be on the pond tour. And apparently they're in that area. Okay. I believe Pauline needs to get a hold of you, Jerry. I know you said we had some new members i don't know if any of those newer members in the last two or three months that have joined might be in that oh, area where we could okay, get a hold I can of check can you just can send check. me that list of all the new members in the last two or three months yeah and since hopefully april. i can find out yeah since april and maybe we can do a last minute thing and maybe add a pond or two somewhere along the lines will do I know, and you know what, um, Gary said he would be happy to be on the tour, but um, with your situation, with your uh, being in that study where you're not getting the antibodies built up, I, <laughs> I'm not even going to ask you that. Um, no. I did ask um, Ann and Dick Flip because uh, I thought, you know, they haven't been on the tour for quite a while, but because of Dick's health, they had to decline also. Dick's having a lot of health issues. So um, he, they had to decline. And I'm not even asking you, Gary, because I already knew about your situation. So that's why I did not ask you. And that's the only reason why I wouldn't ask you. Um, I'm really sure we're, we're, we're looking, hopefully, you know, maybe if there's, 10 or 12 or 15 new people maybe there's one or two that are in that area maybe we can talk them into being on the pond tour i even went so far as to contact the minnesota koi club to see if uh, ken ellis gave me a name of a person i think ken, ken joined late i don't know if ken is still here or not uh ken are you still here i don't see him in that list uh, he might have dropped off. Um, unfortunately, I could never get a hold of the person that Ken gave me um, to see if we could get somebody from the court clubs, see if anybody wanted to be on the pond tour. So unfortunately, uh, we went through that route. I know Pauline has contacted several pond companies to see if they had um, anybody that they would we're in that area that might be interested. So that's where we sit. We will have a pond tour. It's going to be small. It's going to be intimate. Hopefully next year, um, Gary has offered to take over doing the pond tour next year. Hopefully his, um, uh, this pandemic will be, you know, in our 
rearview mirror and um, he will have figured out how to get through the, the thing where he would be able to actually work on it. Um, are you still willing to do that, Gary? Take over the pond tour next year as long as this COVID pandemic thing is in? Okay, good. So hopefully next year people will be more receptible to uh, having people come through their yards and looking at their ponds and talking to people. And I'm just going to say, you know, if we only have six, seven ponds, hopefully you, you go on the pond tour and uh, you take the time to really look their ponds over and, and, and interact with, you know, everybody to, oh, we got people coming in late you know? I'll admit you, but we're almost done. Um, <laughs> anybody have any questions? Uh, anything? Um, you should be able to unmute yourselves. Uh, I, I was able to unmute everybody. So if you're having problems on muting, just chat me real quick and I can work on it. The Minnesota Water Garden Society financially is very sound it's very stable we had ex extremely successful plant sale due to all the people that um, worked on that spring sale um, myself and jen will be having a, a conversation here shortly about there. next year's yeah. spring sale um, we are also going to purchase our plants a little different this year for the next year's plant sale. Um, Florida Aquatics, again, um, only shipped about half our order because they sold out or didn't have enough quantity to be able to ship to us. So um, Jan and I are going to take it to the board and we're going to recommend that we purchase, make our purchase for our plants for the 2022 plant sale in August and pay for them in August. That way we are guaranteed to receive everything we order. So I will bring in, be bringing that to the board in our next board meeting. And um, that way we know we will get what we order. So we'll have a lot more variety in the next few years, so. Unmute people, talk to me, ask me questions. I don't know what else to talk about. Um, and it looks like the state fair is on too, so. Yep. Oh, I'll get by that the list way, ready too. There will be an article on the spring, uh, the the plant, uh, the uh, state fair sites cleanup. Um, thanking all those people that came out and helped us weed. It's probably the best that garden has looked in. I don't know how long. And thank you to Jan for getting extremely muck covered by uh, power washing the pond. She was covered in muck from her tip of her nose all the way down to the tip of her toes. And it took us about 15 minutes to hose her down to get her clean from all the muck that went flying from the power washer. <laughs> but you can you can see the grain and all the rocks and and you can count the rocks on the bottom of the pond this year so yeah it looked um, good christina is i don't know if christina christina's still here she has three water lilies that uh she's going to deliver out to the state fair site on wednesday i will meet her out there with alan and me and alan will put them inside the pond um <clears throat> this uh next sunday Marty is bringing out a dozen uh, goldfish and we're going to seed the pond with a dozen goldfish and we should, um, I have some um, crates and stuff that I'll put out there and I'll put some hiding spots for the goldfish that hopefully the predators don't get them and if, if somebody comes out and net them, we're out a dozen goldfish folks, <laughs> I, I, you know, whoop whoop, yeah, you know, goldfish are a dime a dozen so. Steve, um, did you say the goldfish next Sunday? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's what Marty said he was bringing them out. 
Um, I don't know if you'll have access because the Back to the 50 car show is running the 18th, 19th, and 20th. Yeah, that weekend. Pickles. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Well, I'll I'll get a hold of Marty. Maybe we'll we'll have to wait till a Monday or Tuesday after that weekend or something. I don't know. I'll look at that calendar and then I'll 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 plan accordingly. I'll get a hold of Marty and I'll fix that. Not unless he wants to go to the car show too. (laughs) Alan probably does, but not me. (laughs) I have a car. It starts. It goes where I want it to go. It's warm in the winter and it's cool in the summer, so I don't need it. I don't need. A, a, a money pit i have one in my backyard now that i'm working on <laughs> um okay thank you ellen i'll get a hold of marty and i'll fix that um what else folks talk to me i can't think of anything else mm-hmm. got the two tour we'll have the pond tour the spring sale was great um We're going to probably be looking for a new co-coordinator for the spring sale. So I might as well stick that in everybody's ear. They'll read about it in this month's water log. But um, I need to back off. Um, Between having the stints put in and now having some issues with uh, blood flow in, in my head um i'm gonna b- need to back off of some things and um let's we need to get some of these newer members involved and let them take over and and get things uh running back to pre-covid um to answer your question jan anybody's guess um i'll have marty contact bachman's again Jan asked when we get to go back to Bachman's. Well, we'd only have the August and the October meeting. Because September we go to uh, a state fair again. So there's only two months choice. And August, we will, we are going out to Heidi's grow house. It's going to be oh. a field trip. Remember okay. that folks, Heidi's grow house out in wherever Heidi is, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> look in the book, look in our membership directory. It's a field trip. We're going to go out to Heidi's grow house and we're going to meet with Heidi and she's going to give us a, I forget what the presentation is because I haven't looked at my directory myself, but it's a field trip. Everybody gets to go out there and we get to wander around her greenhouse oh. and get a behind scene of a greenhouse and whatever it was she's going to talk to of us. But it so then it's be... only October. <laughs> okay. Who can't unmute? Oh, Jan, let me fix that, Jan. Let me unmute you. Boink. Is that? There, you should be unmuted, Jan. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. If anybody, if anybody has anything and they can't unmute, please shoot me a text or wave at me and I will get you unmuted. I apologize. Yeah, so my my question about Bachman's is it sounds like, you know, there's a lot of societies that have been bugging them about opening them up. And so I am um, just want to make sure that we're still on their radar, that, uh, you know, the, the dates that we normally have for our meeting are still kind of on their thing so they don't book something else. Okay. Um, I will I will call Marty this afternoon unusual marty's not here today but i will call marty this afternoon and tell him to get a hold of them because it's only the october meeting that we're going to actually be at bachman's and then starting next year and he can see if we can if they're going to open up but when i talked to the person that marty talked to they told us that they do not see them opening up this year wow but now that was back in february March, February or March. Things have changed, have come a long way since that. They have. And so um, 
you know maybe they're maybe they're changing their mind i don't know right uh, maybe and, and part of my push to get store. yeah part of my push to get people back together in person is that that seems to be you know we get more attendance there you know we're only getting like 20 25 people on zoom meetings and I thought if we could meet in person, then uh, we'll, we'll start to actually see the faces of all these new members we have, <laughs> things like that. Because uh, otherwise, you know, trying to get people me, to sign you, up for you stuff. Don't think, and, you don't think that's been on my mind and looking yeah. at the numbers of people when I log them in and I'll you know, see 19 or 20 people show up. And then I don't right. know, maybe, maybe it was because I didn't book interest enough speakers for people to join zoom meetings i don't know um um uh okay uh, i'm sorry somebody just uh oh steven and galen okay just got my pond up and falls up and running is there a rate of evaporation that can be found or maybe i have a leak <laughs> if a leak is oh okay that's steven okay um jan here you go. Here's your leak question. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't mean to My laugh. My answer either. is always, because um, somebody else just asked me that last uh, weekend. Uh, my question is always, um, if you have to ask how bad evaporation is, the answer is you have a leak. Ponds do evaporate a little bit. And yes, it's been very, very dry and windy a couple of days, but uh, uh, they don't evaporate that much. How much water service do you have? How wide and long is your pond, Steve? Stephen? Can you, uh, let me, let's see here. Let's see this. I'm um, yeah. mute them. Yeah. Okay, Stephen, you can talk. You should be unmuted. Thank you. There you go. Okay. The pond is approximately 12. It's like a elliptical area. It's about 16 by 12 by 42 okay. inches in the deepest part. So, but if you're 16 by 12. That's the pond only... area. And the falls come down to it from another area, which is approximately uh, from the pond, it would be five feet up in the air and uh, about seven, eight feet on one side of it. So if he's losing more than half I'm an losing... inch a week. No, I'm today. I lost about an eighth of an inch, but I, I haven't figured no, out. That's not bad. <laughs> I, I haven't figured out where the leak would be on the uh, liner going down because I had the pool open I think all this night, and it did not I think drop. Ours loses more than that, an eighth of an inch. I mean, not, it did not drop. So as soon as I turned it's the falls nice. on. And I dropped the volume of water going over the phone falls with a um, turn valve so that I could decrease the volume. Um, it, uh, I measured it again and I dropped an eighth of an inch versus not having anything the night before. Um, an eighth of an inch? Wow. Um, Jan, I'm going to let you touch that one. Yeah, um, it's, so let me ask you this other way. So if you put the volume back up to normal, how much do you lose? We didn't try that. You mean shut the falls off and see? No, I, I thought that you were reducing the flow by turning the valve, you know, a, a lower volume. And that was your eighth of an inch. But if you put the volume- oh, That was- that was after I had the falls running for about a half an hour. Then I checked and marked it on my little ruler. And then I went back about an hour or so later and it had dropped in the pond an eighth of an inch. I know Got I it. lose a lot of volume filling yes. up the biofalls and the tubing yep. and all that good stuff to get up there. So I know I'm losing about eight gallons of water approximately filling up the fall basins and all that good stuff. Sure. Well, that, I, that I noticed, but um, it did drop after it started running. Okay, so how much water do you drop in 
in a 24 hour period, do you think? I have no idea because I shut the falls off at night and then I run my aerator just to keep the pond water. Okay. Hmm. And so why? I don't, drop any, I don't drop anything in the pond. Yeah, we didn't lose any water between shutting the falls off last night. Yeah. Just running the aerators and turning it on, the falls on this morning. Okay. And uh are your falls like connected to a biofilter? Are you do you have a biofalls or, or a bog that it goes through? I'm just curious as to why you turn your falls off every night. Just because I don't want to run the pump. Um, yes, it's going over biofilter up at the top of the um, falls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the the purpose of your biofilter is um, is to have a living organism, you know, with good bacteria. And when you turn your falls off for long periods of time, particular over an hour, um, those bacteria start to die rather quickly. Okay. Uh, even though you're aerating your main pond, so you'll still have bac live bacteria in your main pond, but the stuff that you have in your biofalls will not be uh, very active uh, okay. if you turn your falls off every night okay, so that's, the, that, that's good to know so you know that's just a, a you know I, and you can you can do that if you want but just just know that you'll your filtration system will be much less effective by turning the falls off um so so um you know when you're saying eighth of an inch is that including the time it takes to fill or you think that's like an eighth of an inch in an hour of running the falls? Running that the you falls. Drive? So if you run the falls for an hour or five hours or however, how, how, you know, in a 12 hour period, how much water drops in that like per hour or in a, if you can multiply it out for me. You're telling me you can't do 24 hours because you turn the falls off, but. Right, but we really, because it's a new pond, we really just, this is the first, four, it's not been running over 48 hours total. We just got okay. it up and running. Okay. So, um, so if we do the 24 hour letting the falls run, is there an expected like evaporation rate when it's like this? Like an eighth of an inch, maybe. <laughs> an eighth of an inch total over 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, okay. you, you should not really see your pond visibly drop in a 24 okay. hour period. And um, usually, you know, if you drop like an inch or something like that, mm -hmm. um, that's definitely a leak, you know, and ponds usually don't have to be refilled, you know, to get back up to the height for like a week or so, you should be able to run the pond, you know, a good solid week and, you know, maybe drop an inch in a, in a week. Okay. But more, more often than not, that's even less than that. Alrighty. So we'll start looking for a leak then. Yeah. <laughs> but if you, if you good do have the capability, if you have the capability of affecting the flow of your waterfall, that's a really good test to run. So you can run at a lower volume. Okay. And um, I always suggest people take a, take a ruler because sometimes, you know, you can leak more than one place, you know, like it can go over the edge in more than one place or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I like to get mathematical when I'm looking for leaks. So I will glue a ruler to some place in the pond or in the skimmer or someplace and I'll actually take a measurement and time it so that I know mm -hmm. in 24 hours, I dropped I this know. much, you know, just, and you don't have to take the measurement mm -hmm. in 24. You can take the measurement in six hours and multiply by four, right? Sure. So, so, so that I know in 24 hours, this is how much. And then when I go fix something, then I take another measurement and like, oh, look, I fixed half the problem now, you know? So, okay, so, sure, that makes sense, okay. Yeah, so that's always helps. To, to diagnose. And so a good diagnosis for you, because you do have a flow control on your 
pump mm -hmm. is to try running the fall you know you you've said overnight it doesn't drop so that's that's a good test already so you know that the the main pond holds water and it's nothing around your skimmer or anything like that because that's not leaking either uh so then when you turn the waterfall on you know you can try it either full full oh. volume or yeah. half the volume and see if there's a difference and if there's a oh, difference okay. between full volume waterfall and half volume waterfall then for sure what's happening is the water is going over the edge somewhere okay uh right. which is easier to fix than say your plumbing you know underground right hose. okay all right well we'll start with that and okay so hope for the best <laughs> all right good luck <laughs> and before you leave i'm planning on going solar with my uh, pumps. Do you know anyone that does that? I do not. I do not know anybody. Actually, Star, you know, I've been meaning to contact you. Do you have contact information for the cooks? I think uh, I do. I because I want to, I want to ask Mac about overwintering a couple plants that people here have, have been having problems with, but I don't have any contact information for them. Okay, let me look it up and I'll send it to you. Thank you. No, he didn't give us any. Yeah, I might have his and Cindy's. Uh, oh, great. Gary, if you have any, uh, if you could send that to me either. Yeah, either Mac or Cindy, either one. That'd be great. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, their address is in our directory. Yeah, I think I wrote to him. He never wrote back. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll see if I can grab him on Facebook. Sometimes Cindy will answer me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she probably would more than Mac would. Yeah. Okay. So if I go solar with no electric, I'm not going to have a pump at night. So that means that my bacteria is not going to be any good? Correct. You'll, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can run, if you have the aerator like uh, the Kesslers were doing, that will help in your main pond. But it'll be very difficult um, to keep a good life. I don't have any electricity where I can get to oh, the aerator. So you can't even get an aerator oh, in there. Yes. Got it. Understand. Well, okay. So if you go solar, most solar, you're going to have to convert it from a uh, DC into an AC or hook a battery up to it and you the solar charges the battery and that would be able to run your pump or aerator or whatever at nighttime so you should be able to run 24-7 okay because the feed and seed sells those batteries so maybe I can hook one of them up you'll have to get you know you'll have to have the inverter that converts it from DC to AC so then you'd okay. be able to pu plug your plump <laughs> pug your pump <laughs> into the inverter and you would be able to run it that way okay thank you sure well folks um if nobody has any more questions um When you run into people or talk to people, tell them to read their water log and hopefully Bachman's will open back up and we can meet. And um, maybe this year we'll have a, if we can get the room for like November or something or December, we'll have a Christmas party. Cause when Star moved, she gave me all the Christmas decorations <laughs> that the Minnesota Water Garden Society owns, and they're now mm. being stored in my garage. <laughs> so, Steve Storage should. Yeah. yeah. Well, I finally got rid of uh, my my middle boy. Finally, got rid of the table saw. Now, if I can just get him to get rid of that engine, I'll have a great big huge spot to put everything, and I'll actually have storage back. Mm. But, anyways, um, so yeah. Uh, I got to look at who has their directory close by. Who do we have for uh, October? Do we have a speaker in October? 
Oh my God, I think it's Jamie Byer. Yes, it is. Oh. It's winterizing your water garden. Okay, I should get a hold of him. Because I would suggest then if if we don't, if Bachman's isn't open, that we find some alternative space for October and try to make an in-person meeting if Bachman's is not open. Did I hear Jan just volunteer to find us an alternative spot? Uh, no. You must have something <laughs> wrong with your little earphones. <laughs> You're already well, going to abandon me for the plant sale, I heard, Steve. Um, yeah. I'll be honest. I, I have to do something because, I don't know, they... They had me do an MRA because they think I might have an aneurysm. In my oh, sorry, Steve. Yeah. So yes, you must take care of yourself. So yes, it's between that and having the stints put in, trying yeah. to get people to join the zoom meetings and trying to do this and trying to do that. Uh, we need, we need to start getting some of the newer members involved. We need them to start stepping up. Um, you're right. We need to get back to in face to face meetings, but yeah. how do we, how do we do that without, you know, um, Maybe we do a library. I don't know. Uh, maybe we can get into a library somewhere. Um, <clears throat> give me a minute. There's other places like <clears throat> there's community centers and things like that. But I can. Uh, I. <clears throat> why don't you let me talk to Marty and uh, see if we can get him on something. That'll work. Yeah, because there's there's community centers. There's a uh, uh, Byerly's used to have meeting rooms and things like that. So, yeah, and I agree. Believe me, I'm not disagreeing. But right, right now, between my health, trying to dig out my new the pond, get that back up and running, you know. I've also lost all of my koi now, so uh, no. I lost Clyde and I lost a couple of the other newer ones. So um, my priority right now is get my pond back up and running. Um, and unfortunately, you know, you know the difficulty, Jan, that we had getting volunteers to step forward. The people yeah. who did step forward were fantastic. Believe yeah. me, Galen and, and a lot and, of them and, did and, extra and, times too. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and you know, everybody <clears throat> that stepped forward did a fantastic job. People did double shifts and whatever. Um, but we need to, you're right, we need to get back in person and we need to get these new members more involved and we need to get some of them to take over some of these things. Gary can attest to it. One person can't do them all. Correct. Um, Gary tried it. Um, I think I've done better at getting people to do other things, um, but I still have more than enough on my plate that I need to push You do, and, this, this, and it's been an unusual year and a half. So, yeah. You know. Everything's Gary, new, different. I don't know. I don't know how in the hell Gary knew about it, but he <laughs> sure stepped off at the right damn time. Excuse my language, but at the <laughs> damn right time, and dumped this on my lap. <laughs> uh, I don't know how he knew when to step off, but he stepped off right at the right time. <clears throat> but um, yeah, it you, keep, la with you the keep laughing, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah but you have to laugh about it and then uh it uh it's worked uh but you're right the zooms 
I'll, I'll be honest with you. If we can't find a place to hold for October, um, I, I, I I'm really think we need to look at not even having a, uh, a October meeting. Um, we'll have to do a board election via email like we did last time. We'll just yeah. have to send out emails or maybe we print up a, a paper ballot and email it to pe or mail it to people. Um, but when you only get 20 people to join a Zoom, what are you going to do? Right. Yeah. I mean, I can I can offer the water. I just can't make everybody drink it. Yeah, no, I understand. Not, it's not flavored Kool-Aid either. No. <laughs> so <laughs> might be better if it were <laughs> well <laughs> yeah uh but um uh, so yeah i don't know if it, it if it's i just maybe i'm just a little overwhelmed right now but i don't know what else to do um trying to get people to oh oh there we go um vicky's video froze and it was not pretty <laughs> Smile, Vicky. <laughs> so when you freeze again, it doesn't. <laughs> Poor Vicky. She's probably frozen again. She can't even hear me. Yeah, she is. Uh, <laughs> but, uh. Um, um, I don't know. You know, there like I said, she I smiled. I, I, yeah, I don't know what you know. I don't know what else to do. You know, when you get yeah. 19, 20 people show up for the Zoom yeah. and. Yep, but. Uh... Since August was going to be Heidi's grow house, I'm assuming yes. that sh she's still on yes. for a in-person meeting then. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, when I talked to her back in March, she was before, uh, but I will contact her in the next week or so here and make sure she's still good with that. Uh, okay. her, her place is open for business. So I'm assuming that yeah. we're still on. Yeah. For it, so, And I will have to get, directions on how to get out to her place and we'll get that emailed out jerry so yep hopefully we get you know more than 20 people show up <laughs> good i yep. don't know you know and when only half of our members read their emails how do we how do we get to them i know i mean i even send out for membership reminders and they don't even open them and it's like discouraging well at least we know a lot of people are reading the water log so yeah <laughs> i will be putting i guess that's going to be part of my president's pad oh i did have comments from some people in apple valley they liked it our, our virtual pond tour from last year oh okay good so i wanted to tell you that oh, they were really awesome. impressed with it yeah um if I was smart, I'd dig up my video camera, which is under a pile of clothes right there, and I should videotape me building my new pond. You could have someone to do that for you, yeah. Yeah, I should do that. I think that would be a good info. Post it to YouTube. Yeah. See how, see this guy, he did it all wrong to begin with, and he's going to continue that trend right into the next pond. Folks, I got to go back to work. I still have yeah. some more things to get out of my way so I can get that mini excavator. Jan, I bit, bit the bullet. That pile of dirt just got bigger and bigger every time I looked at it and I decided, nah. I am digging with a mini excavator. Good. Short iPhone videos work too. Oh. I don't know what that means. You just record on your iPhone and then you submit it that way. It's oh, just like your oh, video. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I don't for, do iPhones, but for for yeah. posting on the YouTube on yeah how a DIYer did it wrong the second time. Okay, yeah. there you go. Gotcha. Now I understand. Thank you. See? Oh, she can't There's a unmute lot again? more smart. Huh. No. Well, quit muting yourself. Boink. Boink. There we go. There. You're unmuted. I was trying to say, but I had a coughing fit. So I went to <laughs> mute myself to cough, and then I couldn't turn myself back on again. <laughs> I, to uh -oh. I told this thing to allow people to unmute themselves. What? Yeah. Why isn't it doing that? Huh. I don't uh, know. Anyway, but I got to go because I have to uh, 
take a puppy out to pee and uh, <laughs> all right. Oh yes, a few new other things. puppy. Yeah. All you right. got to put a picture of your new puppy on there now. Well, you yeah, should come, I should change no. that out. I'll do that. Yeah. Yes. I have some cute ones. Yeah, she's cute. Frosty is really a cute puppy. And the reason <laughs> I call him Frosty is I can't pronounce the name she named it. I but know. it means Frosty <laughs> in Finnish or something or Norwegian. Or Very something. good. See? Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can remember things. I just can't pronounce things. Oh, is it big like this? Well, not quite as big because this was a male. She's no. a female. So. Okay. so they're a little smaller. There you are, right there. There we go. There's Christ Christina has a picture of Frosty. <laughs> How did Christina get a picture of Frosty? She asked me for it because oh, her daughter okay. likes it. <laughs> Let's go. Wait a minute. Christine oh. gets a picture of Frosty, but nobody else does. <laughs> oh, that new puppy business. <laughs> oh, and it, and it, I just love how her ears are. Well, they're That's both good. up now. I'll, both yeah. ears are up. She is cute as a button. I'll say that yeah. before. But it's okay. that <laughs> babyness. Here, I can actually, actually wait. Give me a All moment. Right. I will pull up a uh, current with two ears up photo. Yeah. Because, let's see, now I got to start the video. There you go. Ben, we're working on it. There we go. There's a ceiling fan. Everybody get <laughs> busy. You. There we go. See, okay, there oh, she is. Oh yes. Oh, now she they're has up. Changed. <laughs> just How in a cute. what a week? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just a couple yes. days. Wow. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Everybody's had their puppy fix. <laughs> I have oh. to go back to uh, stringing <laughs> lines so I can have a nice level pond. Okay. okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Everybody have a great time, and we will be talking. Yeah, you take care of yourself, Steve. I am. I'm working with my doctors, and uh, All right. we'll figure it out. So. Yeah. It's overwhelming. <laughs> That's Yeah, I had the test on Friday, and I've been checking my, uh, my chart hourly to see if they put the test result in there. Mm. And apparently they, everybody took the weekend off, so they didn't put any results in there. So, Well, you know, when you wait for a boiling pot of water, it never boils. <laughs> I hate not knowing. I know, I know. To me, that's even worse than finding out what the actual result will be. So. Unless they're waiting until someone can give you a comment on them also, not just the result. That's entirely possible. That's entirely yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. Christina, we will see you on Wednesday. And um, I will talk to everybody. Be safe, be healthy. Yep. And, and I'll send you that list oh. of new members. Thank you. Yes, that would be okay. very helpful. Okay. Rose, Bye, thank everybody. you. Send that information to that email I gave you, Rose, and I'll get that to anybody who needs it. Awesome. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.